What I'd like to tell you, though, is some of the things we've discovered about uh, diving as a therapy and how we came to do, to do this. Well, we're going to reveal tonight, and Tina Marie is going to reveal it. I started diving in 76, knew it was therapeutic right away. Um, when we uh, launched Dive Heart in 2001, the first thing we did is went out to university medical centers like Northwestern University. We did the first study on autism and scuba therapy with Northwestern. We've done 11 adaptive scuba symposiums, international scuba symposiums. People from Duke, from Northwestern University, from Shirley Ryan Ability Lab, all sorts of stuff. And, to, and, and we've seen the benefits over the years, and we said, you know, this would be great, but we can only bring, like we're going to Cozumel in December, and we're bringing 50 people to Cozumel, right, 10 adaptive divers. We have to worry about weather, we have to worry about all sorts of stuff that could curtail our trip. So what we're gonna do is, um, what our goal is, is like, how can we do this and, and scale up? So we are going to try to do a facility, um, and this is the reveal tonight, on a design that we've been blessed and been able to get in two patents. Thank you to our friends at Schiff Harden who said, Jim, you should get a patent on this. And so we've, the first, second patent came through the first quarter this year. And that has allowed us then to say, you know what, let's really pull the trigger. So we hired a feasibility company. We said, uh, he said, put a influencers and affluencer, affluencers together. And so we interviewed 35 people. And they said, we have good news and bad news after they interviewed all these folks. And they said, the, the bad news is we don't think you have the bandwidth to raise 100 35 or 150 million dollars to build the entire facility and I said no joke I said that's what I told you I said we're not the Catholic Church right <laughs> um, but the good news is they seem to think but with the people they talk to and some of you are in the room here that we can raise 50 to 75 million in the first 24 months if we do this right so we're hoping that tonight as friends and supporters of Dive Heart. I mean, we love you all, and we're so glad you're here, and we're hoping, we know you share the vision, and we're hoping that tonight you can you can help spread the word and share what our goal is to, to, to make this vision a reality and to, um, you know, to, to scale it up and share it with the world. But now it's uh, one of our, our special friends who is Amber, and Amber was a barefoot water ski champion, national. Yeah. Uh, caught her jump wrong, and now she is a award-winning diver. Yes. You got it? Hi. Yes. My name is Amber. Um, I identify as she, her. Um, I am in a power wheelchair. I have brown hair with a blue t-shirt and black pants. Um, okay. So um, as soon as I started scuba diving um, with Dive Heart, I knew that it was transforming transformational I knew that it would bring communities together I knew that it would create inclusion I knew that there would be so many different outcomes and programs and um, resources and ways that people can benefit through Dive Heart and this pool um, that they have patented or hope to create in the future um, and I just know from my personal experience whether diving in the pool or diving in the ocean, um, it's life changing, and I'm excited to be a part of the group. Thank you. Well done. Okay, my turn. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who came tonight. Um, you are all supporters. Many of you have been through this journey with us for the past decade that we've been officially dreaming it, right? When, and Jim and I still sit down every once in a while and we kind of go, okay, what if this happens? What if that happens? And it's really exciting to me because it's really happening. We're, we're gonna run at this. This is gonna be our big chance to make it happen in reality for not just us, but for all the people that we wanna help. And that's where it really makes a difference um, in my life and in Jim's life, I'm sure. So what does it look like? Let me show you. Da -da 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 -da. I got it. So our architect couldn't be here tonight, but we have some of the people who helped him with the last renditions. This right here is the pool. And it's, the, it's been patented, so we have two patents here, and we'll take the, the paper off, and you guys can to see it better. Um, but the, 
the idea of the pool is that it telescopes down, it's meant for safety, it's meant for us to be able to put a maximum amount of people in it and keep everyone safe and to be able to do research and rehabilitation and training and all of the things that we know make lives better. So on top of this, I need to show you some of the beautiful renderings that happened. So this is the outside of the pool, facility, I should say. And then this is what we hope will be the welcome. So, and if you ask Jim, if someone gives us enough money, I'm thinking he would let me be renamed. But we will probably sell naming rights to all of this white space that you see. <laughs> And, and so that, that is what we're hoping will be in existence probably within the next 60 months. Um, right? Yeah. Come on, Mackenzie Scott. Uh, <laughs> we just need a couple of billionaires to give us their chump change. Um, so I have two asks of you tonight here in the, in the room. One is to share our story as much as possible with everyone that you might know. You, you know, you never know who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna um, tell the story to, and they might go, that's a great idea. Maybe I'll tell my billionaire friend. So one of the things we have is a little thank you for coming tonight. And even though we're talking about the design tonight, we are going to invite you back in February, and we're going to have a uh, capital campaign kickoff. So that'll be happening on February 15th. So, and then on the other side, you have our pool design. So you won't forget. Um, and if you use the QR code, it will take you to our website or a web page that talks all about the pool and what we hope to achieve with it. Um, the other thing that I'm challenging you guys to do is we have a pledge card here. Now, I am not asking necessarily for money, although money always hurts. That doesn't hurt. Um, what we're asking is if you could please pledge to connect at least five people with us. Someone who may not know us, someone who may not know about the project if they do know us, and, and share the project with them. We're also seeing if you might be interested in becoming part of one of the outreach teams that we're doing. Um, there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of stuff to do for us to get the word out about this project. So if you want to help us with that, we will have something for you to do, guaranteed. And then the last thing is, if you want to pledge some money, I mean, I'm not going to stop you. So you can fill these out tonight. You can take them home with you and mail them back in. You can fill them out, take a picture, and text it to Jim or I. We'll take it any way we want. And please take a pen, too. Um, but that, that's it. That's, this is the exciting part. You know, we have it out there now. And we hope to be doing, you know, inviting you to a ribbon cutting at some point. So let's do it, right? If I, if I could just add a couple things. One is uh, our architect is very ambitious. His name is Jeff Saad. And he would like to make this net zero. Anybody know what net zero means? Right off the power grid? That's, that's big. I think that alone, I said, hitting the ground, if we can say that, that's going to interest a lot of people that have interest in the environment that maybe have some money to help fund this thing. The other thing is if you Googled the deep pools in the world at Dubai and, and places like that, you'll see their design is very different. It's not a, as efficient at all as, as our design, which is telescoping up. It's all about safety. People can be at 33 feet, 66, 99, 130 feet, and go directly to the surface without interfering with any other teams. In the Dubai pool, you have 150 feet of a, a water tower sleeve, a team here and a team here. There's an emergency here. Boom, they're going through that team. And that that is not safe. So safety was a big part of what we, what we planned into this. And we were so excited when we got the second patent done. And um, the first tw probably 20 to 30 feet will be like an aquarium. So it'll be above grade. So it'll be acrylic or it'll be glass. And you'll be able to see your loved ones. There won't be any fish in it. Sorry, fish lovers. But there will be, you will be able to see your loved one do whatever it is, therapy, research, re and, and that's what this is about. This is about research, rehabilitation, education, training, and to provide vocational opportunities for people, uh, not just with disabilities, but people of all abilities. Well, enjoy the rest of the evening, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.